If you've ever thought about creating planner stickers, then let me show you a quick and simple way using ChatGPT and Kittle to create stickers or planner stickers just like these. Now the great thing about what you see just here is that these are all vectors, meaning if I want to change the colour on these stickers, all that I have to do is come in, click on the colours, and then we can change to whatever we want. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do this. Now what we're going to be using is ChatGPT and one of the GPTs. Now please bear in mind that you do need to have a paid ChatGPT account to access the GPTs. Now if you already have that, what we want to do is come over here to where it says explore GPTs. Then we're going to type in Icon Maker. Now if we look just here, there's lots of these different icons or icon makers that we can use. Now I believe I've been using this one, the second one, just here. Now if we click on there, it's going to give us a little bit of info, and then we want to click on Start Chat. Now I've already done that here, and with anything or any GPT that I use, I always like to ask it a question first, and that is, what do you do? So it says, Hi, I'm Icon Maker a tool specialised in creating simple, clean line icons with uniform line weights on a white background. I use black for the line colour and style, and my style is categorised by its simplicity. So by using this ChatGPT or this GPT icon maker, we can create some really clean icons, but then turn them into planner stickers. So right here, I just said, can you give me a list of ideas for planner icons? So it gave us calendar, clock, checklist, note, alarm, event, reminders, tasks, and many more. Now right here, I asked it to create a pink heart icon with a thin black outline and flat colours. Now, nine times out of ten, because these are icons anyway, you're going to get flat colours, but I just like to put that in there anyway. Now, by using flat colours, this just makes it extremely easy, or better, when you actually vectorise your images. But nonetheless, I got this pink heart, then this one just here, which is a pink book icon, which would look really nice as planner stickers. I have this butterfly, and also this dog. Well, it's supposed to be a dog, but it looks more like a pig. Now, when using these icon makers, Realistically, you want to just keep your prompts very, very simple. Now, let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's go ahead and download this butterfly. Then, let's head on over to Kittle and upload this. Now, we are going to be using Kittle Pro features. And if you'd like to try out Kittle Pro, then my affiliate link will be down in the description. Now, what we're going to do is just take this. And we're going to drag it onto the canvas like this then that is going to upload it into your upload section. Now, from here, what we want to do is just enlarge this, like so. Let's make that centred as well, like that. And now we're going to use the background remover. Once that's been removed, we're going to use the image vectorizer. Now, this is one of the Canva Pro features. But if we click on this little drop-down arrow, choose the colours that we have, so we have one, two and three so we're going to put three in there like so then we're going to click vectorize image now doing this is going to allow us to change the colors on the fly so now as we can see this has been vectorized so now we want to download this if we come to download take a look here we want to enable remove background and then we're going to click on svg and now we have our svg icon which can be used for planner stickers. So if we come back over to Canva just here, and if we click on this folder, we can take this and then upload that into there. Now, if we come onto a new page, if we put that on there, we can see that up at the top, we have the option to change colors. Now I have found personally that if you create an SVG, if you only have a few colors and they're flat colors, you're able to change those colours here in Canva. 
So we actually have three colors on this, as we can see, a black, dark pink, and a pink. But now we can go in and change this to any colors that we want. So we can change that to yellow. We can even change the outline to a really dark blue or any color that we want, as you can see. Now, if you use the same color that you've used within the butterfly, you can see it doesn't really have that outline. But nonetheless, keep, let's keep that on black. And now let's just make this smaller because if we want to sell sticker packs, all we have to do now is duplicate this, move it along. Let's do five in a line like so. We're going to do that one more time as well, like that. Then we can quickly clean this up by dragging over all of them, come to the three dots, go to space evenly and tidy up. And now that's evenly spaced. And now what we can do is copy this. Let's move that down to round about there. Let's do this five as well, like this. Let's just move that one down and this one as well. We could probably just make this a little bit bigger. So let's just do that. Then if we center this, in fact, that's probably just a little bit too big. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. But if we center this like so, we now have a sticker pack. Now, the great thing about this is that we can go in and change the colors. So now we have that sticker pack. In fact, let's go back to this one. We can do different colors. We could do all blue. We could do all yellow. We could do all red. We could do yellows and blues. So if we change that yellow to blue, we could then change this one to yellow. And we could have blue and yellow butterfly stickers as a pack. So let's do the yellow like so. And as you can see, once you vectorize your images or your stickers, it makes it incredibly easy if they have flat colors to just come in and change those colors. So again, we can actually do this for absolutely anything. We could do it for animals. We could do it for insects. We could do lots of different icons with hearts and stars and rainbows. And if this icon maker creates a icon that you really like and you like the style of, we can simply download that, come back to here. We can upload that back into ChatGPT like so and say, I really like this style. Can you keep all future icons in this style? Just respond with yes. And now all future icons that you create will be created in the same style. So now let's go ahead and take this again. Let's copy that. Let's put this down and let's see what we get. So let's click enter. Let's give this a second as well. And there we go. So this butterfly, because we asked for the same style, is actually a lot nicer than this one just here. But as you can see, it's really easy and simple to create planner stickers by using these icon makers in combination with Kittle. Now, do you need to use Kittle? Of course you don't. You can actually use any type of vectorizer that you choose. I pay for Kittle Pro and I use it in my workflow. So it's a lot easier for me just to come in, use Kittle and vectorize these images and then put them into Canva where I can create sticker packs. But nonetheless, that's just how easy it is to create planner stickers using ChatGPT and also Kittle. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.